Good morning, folks. This is Philip Lyde, the prosperous rhinoceros, one half of Team Lyde, live your dreams every day. And today's topic is going to be um, not to insult your intelligence, but to make you aware of something that is very important when you're presenting yourself to your prospects or your leads. And what I want to show you is this question here. What exactly is a triangle? I'm going to give you a moment to think about that as I draw the rest of this puzzle out. And I want you to understand based off of that. And some of you guys have probably been to elementary school and you probably said to yourself, well, I already know what a triangle is. You know, who does this guy think he is by giving us such this this elementary instruction? Or oh, I'm not even going to answer it because, you know, I have a master's degree in in botany, gene splicing and, and shoelace tying. I don't know. But. What you want to understand is this, and you'll see where I'm coming to. If you listen to the whole video, you'll see what direction I'm going with based off of not only just um, this exercise, but how you can better position your business, services, products, or opportunities to other people. Now, based off of the fact that we know that a triangle has three sides and three corners, We could probably all agree that this looks like a triangle, right? So, my next question is this. And let me write this down for the people who, who are pretty much um, are paying attention at this point. How many triangles are there? And I want you to take a look at this, okay? And I want you to understand this. Based off of what you know what a triangle is, when you're presenting your business or your opportunity or products and services to other people, their perception of what a triangle is may not be exactly the same thing. Now, think about what you th think about the number of triangles that you have. And I'm going to see if we have exactly the same number, okay? At first, I obviously, you guys probably counted this whole triangle here. That's one. You probably counted all of the triangles on the inside. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? You probably also counted this triangle here. Hold on. You've probably also counted this triangle with the two halves. That's eight. That's nine. Then I'm assuming, because you know, we're supposed to be, mm, we're all supposed to be the same in terms of what we know and what we don't know, obviously, right? Especially when you present these links or you present these, these business webinars to people um, without finding their needs, wants, and desires. So let's just continue on. Um, you probably also counted this one here. That's 10. Okay? Now, did you count this one? Well, did you count this one here? So I'm sorry. Did you count this one here? That's 11. Did you count this one here? That's 12. Right? Now, this is the funny part. I bet, based off of what you knew, you also counted this one. 
It's 13. And so that means you would have also counted this one. It's 14. So, give or take where you were at um, consciously based off of what you know, because we all have the same definition of a triangle, yet we all came up with more than likely different answers or different responses. And I tell you this because back in the first grade, my son had this exercise for part of his math class. And as I showed him, you know, and, and my whole thing is with teaching, with teaching people mathematics, what you have to understand, um, by no stretch of the imagination, that mathematics is or isn't. It, there is really no great area about it. it it's, it's, it's not going to lie to you. It's not going to give you any false promises or hype anything up more than what it is. Mathematics does this. By definition, if we know that a triangle, just in an elementary state, has only three sides and three angles, right? Every Every overlapping triangle or shape would also account for what? A triangle, okay? So, in a nutshell, me and, this me and my son's teacher had a, had a falling out because what she was trying to say was that um, people can't comprehend to such an abstract degree, in which I disagree. The question is, how are you presenting the information? Because if it's unclear, right? If it's unclear and you don't find out where people currently are, then you'll have no way of knowing whether or not they understand the material. It's the same thing with your business. Where, say for instance, where we're talking, we're chopping it up, and you go, you go from zero to 60 in terms of, hey, how's it going? I saw you in such and such group or I saw you online and I decided to like your video or like your blog and I wanted to just reach out to you so we could possibly network to see what works, what doesn't, what have you. And I say, sure, no problem. What is it that you do? Oh, we have the greatest company in the world. We're making $2 billion in a single day. And, you know, everybody who joins this company within the next 24 hours will get a free Lamborghini. And I'm sure, you know, if you're serious about making money, let me stop you. I don't think there's anybody who is not serious about making money. How you go about making money will determine your success or your failure. Um, it's, it's, it's like that guy in the club who, who buys the young lady a drink. And because he buys that one drink, he, he, he's under the assumption that they're either going to sleep together or that they have a serious relationship. The, um, and, and too many people have this bar like mentality where they expect by you reaching out to them or you, you wanting to network or connect that they automatically have you as part of their team and that you're automatically a prospect. No. Let's find out what, what we have going on in our daily lives outside of sitting on Facebook or Twitter or Pinterest. Let's find out if, he has, if this person has children that have needs or, or serious issues, that, that serious concerns that need attention to, you know. Um, maybe... The person is interested in what you have to offer, but however, he's going through a tough time like a divorce or something like that, where he physically does not have the money. So, in all honesty, does that make him, you know, um, fraudulent in him saying that he's serious about making money? No. It just means that his circumstances are not where they need to be in order for him to make a commitment. And that's what people got to understand. Just like with dating and any other type of relationships, sometimes you're, you're, you're going to, for lack of a better word, play the field with the, with, the, with the sincere intent of finding that one. And if we're a good fit for each other, then, you know, hey, it's a beautiful business relationship. If we're not a good fit, there's no love lost. I mean, I got plenty of exes right now where, you know, I don't have any animosity towards them. Some of them broke my heart. I broke a couple of theirs. But, you know, it's what it is. Um, I just know that I have the one right now. But 
just 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 in closing, I want you guys to be considerate of this thing. Um, everybody's perception is different. Therefore, our definition, if we're not clear as as the so-called expert, our definition of what it's like to be so quote unquote serious about making money may not be relevant to this person here who, let's say for instance, they're looking for an online opportunity, but clearly due to their morbid obesity, they're not looking to, looking for any um, weight loss products, you know? Or this person over here, due to rel religious beliefs, is not interested in, in, in an adult website that serves pornography, you know? And let's be clear, both of those industries are billion dollar industries. So your industry and your product and your service is not the only thing on the market. We have to do a better job, people, of being clear in our message and finding out what people need in order to be providing for them. Last but not least, excuse me, last but not least, I want to say this. Um, in order to get everything that you want, um, and I believe either Brian Trace or Dennis Waitley says this, um, in order to get all that you want, you must help enough people get enough of what they want. And if you're the type of leader that says, you know, I'm just looking for serious people who want to join my team and make X amount of dollars, you've already just said that you're fraudulent in your claims. No true leader have I seen on social media or online has ever come across like that. It either it is or it isn't. Remember, it's the value of perception that we have to get across and be on the same page on in order for us to decide if this is something that's good for you or not. Hell, I don't even know if, if, if I want to join your team, even if it's a good company. So take that in mind and, and, and push forward and, and do the best with your time today and help more people, you know. Um, this is Philip Lyde, Team Lyde, live your dreams every day. I'm getting a little tongue-tied here. But I definitely want you to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, um, social media in general. Um, look at some of my other blogs. Definitely, if there are any links that are associated with this, I would recommend them right now. The biggest thing that I'm trying to do over the next 30 days or so is really establish better interpersonal and better business relationships with people. So if I can help you, by all means, reach out to me and I'll definitely return the favor. This is Philip Lye. Peace.